<laughs> Actually, I took the day to sleep yesterday. I forced myself to sleep yesterday. So I would be well rested for today because do you know what we are doing today? Yes, I do. But do you know what we are doing today? Kevin, would you like to tell them what we are doing today? God. Yes, I will tell them. I won't yell it, though. Okay, we're going to scare LA. Or LA scare? Scare LA? Scare LA, LA scare? Whatever. I don't know. It's called one of those, but... It's the same as we did two weeks ago, but bigger. No, it was just last week's. It was last week? It was just last week. All right, last week. So this is in uh, at uh, in Pasadena, and it's a little closer than the Long Beach one, but it should be a, uh, a lot better attended. Okay, so it's a really, really beautiful day today in Pasadena. It's, what are you? I took down the sidewalk. I can't take her anywhere. She's determined to hurt herself at some point. So. Too many distractions. Come on. And she's, of course, looking for Pokeballs. Crazy There's one. one on the corner over there, but I can't get to it. Oh, well. I could already... It's such a nice day. I think it's in, like, in the 70s, wouldn't you say? No, it's hotter than that. You're always just hotter than that. You're always hotter than reality. It's just all there is to it. It's because I live in my own reality. You, you do. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Some authors here, Bob Davis and Brian Clune, they've written a couple of books, California Historic Haunts and Ghosts of the Queen Mary. As you guys know, we are very fond of the Queen Mary ourselves because of Peter James. We are very big fans of Peter James. But we'd like to introduce you to Bob Davis and Brian Clune. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. So the both of them have met um, uh, Peter James. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, Betsy? What? Betsy Wesley, that's not her real name, she's one of our YouTube followers, is Peter James's niece. Oh, nice. Hi, Betsy. So, Hi, Betsy. These and are some I know friends. Peter's brother Tommy, too. <laughs> so, this is a brand new book. Might be her dad. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's how that works, isn't it? It might yeah. be. Yeah. Maybe he has more than one brother, but... So we're out here spreading the word about, about uh, Peter as much as we can, and he's in the book. And, and well, just, he's not only in the book, he's all <laughs> through the book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's definitely our, uh, you know, our mentor. And our, uh, Let me correct that. Three books. Haunted San Pedro. And you can get them all either here at L.A. Scare today. I think today's the last day, right? Today. Or you can get them on Amazon. We have run into... Star of Insidious I'm say One that too. and Two, Insidious One and Two, as well as um, um, Blair Shadow Blair, of Blair, Shadow of the Blair Witch, and uh, so what picture do you want? What picture do I want? Why is it always gonna be me? Because it's you. Well, let me say hello to Philip first of all. I'm so happy to meet you in person. This is like one of our favorite favorite movies. Yeah. They don't make scary movies like they used to anymore, and this was... And your character was very, very scary. Yes, your character was like... I never knew it was me. Most people think. Yeah. Unless you looked at the credits. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I like this picture the best. Okay. This is the, the most popular one. It doesn't surprise me. It yeah. Is. It's scary. I like that one the best. So how's that one for you? It's great. Okay, so we'll take this one. And who do I make it out to? Should we do to the neighbors yeah. again? Just to you. All right, to, to Mallory. You. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to share with you. <laughs> She's a big fan girl. Oh yeah, I can tell. She's excited. I... <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hello. Hi guys! Look who we ran into again! 
We're Greasy. I'm Greasy from Greasy and Lloydsville. That's our YouTube channel. And I finally get to meet the neighbors. Uh, the neighbors. So go check yeah. them out on YouTube. And this is where we got those beautiful, what are they, 3D? The changing portraits. Yeah, the changing portraits that last week is at their booth. So this is Greasy. Go check them out, guys. It's Haunted Mansion. Haunted Memory. That's right. Corona, and I just bought a gray uh, Nissan pickup. And uh, Christopher Dorner started his shooting spree around the corner from my uh, my house. And I got I was going to work in my new truck. I got pinned by three police cars, two in the front and one in the back. So uh, luckily they realized I wasn't Christopher Dorner because they've been shooting at cars the whole next two days. So this is kind of cool to get this shirt because. I was involved. Yeah, pretty awesome. And you guys should really come and check out or go online and check out Confessions of a Zombie Killer. They have awesome shirts, awesome quality shirts, men's and women's sizes and design cuts. And uh, yeah. And a hot zombie killer. That's <laughs> right. Check out the booth. Thank you. Who's trying to steal my Daryl? Hey, 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 hey. Not too much. <laughs> We can share. Yeah, we can share. I don't mind sharing. We take a flyer! Woo! Big alert. Does this light up? Can we turn it on? Uh, sociology. Sociology. And uh, the um, science of fear. Yeah. Her book is called Scream, and she did a study. Go ahead, you explain it. You explain oh, it's, it <laughs> it's all about how and why we engage with uh, scary and thrilling activities like roller coasters and thrill rides, but also haunted houses and paranormal investigations. Uh, I go to South America, Japan, Canada, all over the U.S. Uh, to really answer that question of why, why we like it, uh, and how it varies by, by culture. I'll be reading this and letting you guys know what it's all about, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. Uh-huh, yep. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. Get your own copy and let me know what you guys think.
one for myself. You should, you should. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what we're gonna pick in. <laughs> Typically, just pinch in Rupert Jr. Okay, that's and my perfect. name. Because this is like, you should print this. That is very good. <laughs> showing these movies. We're also going to be having some special guests that are connected to each movie. Oh boy. And we're also going to be having a ghost panelist run by this gentleman right here. His name is Matthew. Hello Matthew. <laughs> and we're also going to be featuring some up and coming filmmakers of horror. Awesome. And if you sign up with our mailing list today, you'll be in for a chance of winning some free tickets to the festival. Oh, I just did. <laughs> And it's an outdoor event, so we're going to have some food trucks, and we're going to have some vendors. It's going to be overall awesome. Oh, they're playing the thing on our anniversary. Perfect! That's one of our favorite movies, too. How oh, we are romantic. So into horror well, now we know what we're doing on our anniversary. That's right. <laughs> Yay! Going to watch the thing. <laughs> so, I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, I grew up on the Adams family. I would come home every day from school and watch the Adams family. And we come down the stairs and the first booth we run into is Wednesday Adams or Lisa Loring. There you go. And we Okay, so uh, it's kind of early and uh, we've already been through the whole place, we're, so we're actually going home. I think one of the main reasons we're going home is uh, we've completely run out of money. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. We're, we're, it's, we have gas to get home and that's about it. But we had an awesome oh, time. Oh, we, 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 we met some great people. Yeah, it's always the like, best place to, to meet new people is horror film places or... Halloween people, they're all yes. a lot of fun. Yes, and I hope you guys enjoyed everything you got to see. And uh, if you did, please give us a great big thumbs up. And a like, a share, a comment, all that happy crappy stuff. And make sure you go by and check out everybody that we have marked because they were awesome. Rufus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rufus was awesome. He was the best. So, great movie. If you have never seen A House of a Thousand Corpses, go see it. You should see it. Uh, it's, yeah. It's kind of gritty. Yeah, but it is, but it's good it movie. is a good cult classic. If you like things like Texas Chainsaw, you'll like this. Yeah. But, 
great movie. And you can't, you can't miss Rufus in it. Yeah, he's I mean, kind of a mountain. You can't miss that. <laughs> so make sure you go by and check it out. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.